Namaste, beautiful yogis. Yoga with Pam San Martino. I thought today that we would get a little bit into our quadriceps and our hips. I, some of you have probably been out enjoying the nice weather, jogging, I've been spinning, there's a spin cycle right over there outside of the, um, the video. So we're going to begin today by coming right onto our back. As you come onto your back, bring your knees in and give yourself a little hug. You bring your arms up and around, find your elbows. Oh, let's take your left leg and reach your left leg out onto the mat. And let's take hold of our right foot. And coming into lizard on the back. As I hold on to my right foot, I prefer to hold on to the pinky side of the foot. That way I'm pressing up with the big toe mound. And the left leg that's on the floor, it's stretching forward, nice and strong. Take a long breath in. And take a long breath out. Beautiful, deep ujjayi breath. Deep breath out. Now let's take this right foot and bring it over our body a little bit so it's more in line with my navel. I'm going to take hold of my foot with both hands and move your foot towards your forehead. And we're just trying to tune the instrument of our bodies before we begin. So don't go too deep, just 80% of that sensation. Slide your shoulders down your back. Keep pointing the knee out to the side. Now let's reach that leg straight up. And I'm gonna move my leg slightly across my body. I just wanna open up my IT band a little bit. So my left hand is on my right leg and it's only going slightly across, just in line with my navel. As I am bringing my, left, my right leg over the left, I am trying to scoot and reach my right hip down to the floor. So try to keep your right hip heavy. Let's release that. I'm just gonna kind of move around to my hip a little bit. And switch sides. Take hold of your left foot, take hold of the pinky toe side. Don't, don't expect a miracle when you're first starting. I mean, my legs are really crickety right now. So it's going to take a little bit of warming up. A little bit of warming up before you start to really feel your body open it. So just a couple of breaths here. The knee is on the outside of the rib cage. The right leg is stretching forward, feet are active. Now I'm going to start to move into this position, which is referred to as pigeon on your back. So my leg, I know I'm not really um, that flexible right now because it's early in the morning, but I'm going to take hold of my foot, and my foot is in line with my stern, it's in line with my navel, and I'm going to be moving my foot gently towards my sternum. It's more of an up sensation and a back sensation. So anytime you want to feel a little bit more, reach the foot up and then lengthen it back. Reach the leg straight up. I'm going to take hold of my, and maybe if I could reach the outside of my foot, and I'm going to bring the foot right over. So I'm a little tight right here, so I'm not going that far. So I'm going to bring my hand onto my ankle and I'm going to glue my left hip down towards the floor. A lot of sensation all through here. It's just, I hope that you are all keeping yourself very busy. It's very, very important to move your bodies, clear your minds, any sort of meditation and motion. Very good. <laughs> when you need to take a break like I'm doing today and do yoga. Great. Let's take that knee in and just kind of move it around, move it around. It's a beautiful, beautiful day out. Bring your knees in. And let's bring your knee 
is right up over your hips and bring your hands behind your head. Wrap your elbows in so that you are cradling your head, loving hammock. Inhale, rise up. As you exhale, it's a slow motion bicycle pumps for abs. Up and over the left. Inhale, bring your knees back. Exhale, switch up and over to the right. If your hips are cracking, I need you to press your navel down and glue your low back to the floor. There you go, rise up and switch. You can hear my hips cracking from there. I'm trying, I'm trying to press my navel to the floor. A few more. As you inhale up, rise higher. As you exhale, twist to the left, but keep both shoulders off that floor, pointing the elbows towards the left. Inhale, center, and then switch. Excellent. A couple more. Let's do a bit of abs today. Let's um, make this part of our work today. There we go. You're probably doing a lot of baking. We're, my daughter and I have decided that we prefer to have baked goods. So we've been baking cookies like crazy. <laughs> Great. Now reach the legs up, reach the arms up and hold. Push the navel down. Now lower the legs to a hover, and then lift the legs up. Not all the way up, we want to keep that tension. Lower to a hover, push the navel down, reach up, push the navel down, reach up, and then let's just kind of flutter the legs, just flutter. I just love it. Yes, let's get those feet, just flutter, 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 flutter. And then crisscross. Right about here, as you guys all know, no teaching. You need to just start praying. <laughs> Let it go away. No. Stay in it. 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 Reach the legs up. Bring the knees in. Whoo! And then slowly roll up. Reach the legs forward. Come into high boat. Bring the hands forward into a Shiva, Rita, uh, Shiva Mudra, like a Charlie's Angels Mudra, and let's twist to the left. Stir them up. Inhale, center, twist to the right. Inhale, center, twist to the left. Come back, center, twist to the right. Come back, center, release those arms up. Hug the knees in, and then reach the legs out. Hug the knees in. Reach the legs out, hug those knees in, reach those legs out. One more. And then slowly come down and come to happy baby pose. <laughs> Straighten one leg at a time. Excellent. Happy baby. Now happy baby pose can come into something a little bit more, as you know. Bring those feet together. <laughs> Bring those arms up to the ceiling. I want you to move those knees back to the arms and rise up. Exhale. Inhale, reach higher. Push those hands up to the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale, higher. Pull the belly in. Round the back. Empty. So what are you doing? You're doing crow on your back. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Oh, let's come into one leg crow. Reach the right leg forward. Look at it. Yeah, I do it. One leg crow. Come back, center. Switch, 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 switch. Come back, center. Oh, rise up a little higher. And then nicely, happy baby. Down you go. Whew. Bring those knees in, bring the arms out to the side. Bring the knees over to the left and gaze to the right. Bring the knees up, up and over to the right, gaze to the left. Opening up my psoas, opening up my side body. Again, tuning the instruments of our bodies before we delve deeper. 
One more time, up and over. And then rock and roll, yogis, up and back. Bring your hands to the mat. High plank pose. It is high plank pose. Slide the shoulders, squeegee them down your back. Press back through the inner heels. Hold it. Now let your heels fall to the right like a little rainbow dip. Lift up, 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 and over to the left. Oh, feels wonderful. Rise back up, over to the right. Come back center, up and over to the left. And then let's just pause right here. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Press back to dog. Inhale, rise onto those toes. Lift those sitting bones up high. Exhale, press through the heels of your hands as you press your inner heels back low. Press the inside of those feet down to the mat. Reach the right leg up. Open your knee, open your hip. As you roll that hip up, I want you to look under the left arm. Under the left arm. That's it, so you're driving those shoulders still forward, but you're twisting in the hip, you're opening. Reach that right leg back and lower it to the mat. Take the left leg high, bend the knee, open your hip. Keep that breath strong. The breath is so important in your practice. Reach the leg back, lower it down. Now, look at the top of the mat, lift the right leg high. Step the right foot next to the right pinky. Pause here. Oh, feels great. I'm going to slide forward and slide back. Now, get that left arm hand right underneath that left shoulder. And let's stretch the right arm up to the sky. As you reach that right arm high, I want you to pull the right thigh in, lift up through the pelvis, and push back through that left heel. Gaze up, look up. Now listen carefully. Take that left heel and spin it over the side. Take the right foot and spin it out to the side and reach the right arm back. Now as you come back, pull the elbow in. As you reach forward, roll your body open. As you come back, pull the elbow in. One more time, reach up, reach up, and roll open. I just moved my hand a little bit to give myself more space. Come back center, bring your hands to the floor and start to walk over towards the left foot. Coming into Skandasana. Lift up onto that right heel and maybe reach your hands forward. All right, come all the way back center. Step to three leg dog and now let's just still walk back to the back of our mat and reach your leg high. Walk back forward and lower that right foot to the floor. It is the left side. Take the left leg high. Step the left foot next to the left pinky. And then just pause here for a moment. Feel your body pull forward and push back. Pull forward and push back. We are gonna flow. But let's take a little moment to stretch ourselves out, down nice and low. Take the right hand underneath your right shoulder. Stretch the left arm high. Lift up through the hips and push back through the heel. All right. Now, like I did before, I just want to give my arm a little bit. So I'm just going to walk that hand back over to the side. You'll, you'll feel the difference. It'll be a little more support. Let your foot roll open to the side and let the back foot roll onto its heel. And go ahead and tip down. Oh, it feels wonderful. And then reach up and go ahead and pull the elbow in. 
Reach forward, reach up, and dip down. Reach forward, reach up, and pull in. One more time, up and over. Now as you come all the way around, walk over to the right leg. And as you are on the right leg in Skandasana, you can bring your arms and reach them forward. You can keep your hands on the floor, it's all good. Now walk all the way back. Step that left leg back into a three leg dog. Reach the left leg high and just start to walk back. Walk back into that standing split, bow your head low. Come all the way back forward. Downward facing dog. Slide forward, high plank, lower chaturanga. Take yourself into cobra. Roll your shoulders back, slide the hands back, squeeze the elbows in. Feel your body pulling forward. And then turn the toes under, lift up, and push back to dog. Beautiful. Look forward at the top of your mat. Step forward, nice and slow. Come into ragdoll. Take hold of your elbows and roll side to side. Heel toe your feet together. And come into a halfway lift with your arms along your side. Pull your chest forward as you are pulling your inner thighs back. Sternum forward. Hip creases back, inner thighs rolling back. Lift your toes, lean forward as you are pulling your body back as well. Feel the dualities, feel these tension lines in your body. And then sit low to your pose. <sighs> sit a little lower. Bring your hands to the floor, open your knees wide. No, we are not doing crow yet. You are going to come down nice and low. You're going to come down nice and low. Get low, low, low on your hand, on your elbows, inside your shins. Bring your hands to the floor and just bow your head forward. Feel your low back open. You know, straighten your legs and fold. Inhale, roll your body up to stand. Hands to heart. And you are being, you are ready to begin. So inhale, reach those arms tall. Exhale, bow forward nice and slow. Inhale, come to a halfway lift. Exhale, high plank pose, empty out all the way down. Low plank, nice and slow. Roll your body upward to up dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, look forward. As you empty, jump to the top of the mat. Come into that halfway lift with the arms along your side and then go ahead and sit low, chair pose. Now inhale, stand tall. Reach up, lean back, and then hands to heart. Inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, bow slow. Inhale, come to a halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the floor. Jump back, high plank or walk back. Lower down, low plank. Pull your body upward. Roll those shoulders back. Pull your chest forward. Empty out, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, look forward. Empty, jump to the top of the mat, pull yourself to a halfway lift, inhale, sit low, exhale, stand tall. Gaze up, look up, reach up, lean back, and now let's open our arms wide, and let's swan dive forward, down to the floor. Inhale, step the left foot back and come to lunge. Reach your arms forward and rise your arms tall. Take a long breath in. 
Take a long breath out. Keep pressing back with the heel. Keep reaching forward with the inner thigh. Hands to the floor. High plank to low. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, back slow. Breathe in and lift the left leg and step into high lunge. Squeeze your inner thighs and rise up nice and slow. Oops. There we go. Beautiful. Gaze up. Slide in, push the heel back, reach the knee forward. Now as you empty, bring your hands to the floor, belly in, step forward to the top of the mat and fold. Now come into that halfway lift again. Inhale, hands along your side. Exhale, chair pose, sit low. Inhale, stand tall. Open your arms, reach back. Exhale, bow low. In breath, step the right foot back, rise the arms high, exhale high to low. Inhale, rise up, empty out, down dog, nice and slow. Right foot steps forward, high lunge, reach up tall, gaze up high. Empty out, hands to the floor, step forward and fold once more. Inhale, come to halfway lift. Exhale, sit low, chair pose. Inhale, bring your hands to heart center. And then bow down low, knees to the side, hands to the floor. Bow your head down again, or start to rise into crow pose. Wrap those elbows in, round your back like a Halloween cat. Lose your bit space, you lose your balance, touch the foot to the floor. Let the feet land, let your body fold. Inhale, roll up. Roll up to stand, hands to heart. How are you feeling? Reach your arms tall. Exhale and fold, bow low. Again, come into that halfway lift. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, stand tall. Open your arms wide and enjoy a swan dive down, nice and low. Come into a halfway lift to prepare. As you exhale, high plank to low. Inhale, upward. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Coming into warrior one, slow. Exhale, step the foot next to the right pinky. Inhale, take the left foot spread flat on the floor and rise, warrior one. Take the left arm forward to help guide your hips forward. Keep pulling the right hip back, keep rolling that left inner thigh forward. And the more I roll my left inner thigh forward, I'm coming forward here, my hips scoop up. Reach forward with the inner thigh. The more I reach forward with my inner thigh, the more I'm going to seal the deal on the back foot. Reach both arms up. Come in deeper. That's it. Marsha, this is a whole practice just for you. Right? We've got a whole one today. And Paul. One more breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor. High plank to low. Inhale, rise upward, Urdhva. Exhale, reach back, Adho Mukha. Inhale, reach the left leg high. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Take the right arm and scoot it forward like you're reaching for something. The left hand that's going up is Reminding you to scoot those hip bones up, elbows tilt. Now reach both arms up and slide in. The more you slide in, the more you're gonna push that outer edge of the right foot down. 80% in this pose and put a lot of it in the legs. Hands to the floor, high plank to low. Rise upward, exhale out. Right foot right in to warrior one. Rise tall. Exhale, hands to the earth, high to a low. 
Rise up, reach back. Left foot left steps forward. Inhaling, still warrior one. Exhale, hands to the floor. High to low. Rise upward. Exhale back, nice and slow. Right foot forward, warrior one. At the top of the inhale, put a pause in. And then exhale, hands to the floor, belly in, lower slow. Inhale, fill. Exhale, empty. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, rise. Empty out. Take the right foot, step it forward, warrior one. This time, bring your hands to heart center. Look over to the left and sit back to Skandasana. Beautiful. Now I want you to come all the way forward and slide into warrior two. My heel's gonna come forward a little bit because I want a heel to heel or heel to arch alignment and slide in. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now inhale, reach your hands up. Turn the warrior to the back of the room, nice and simple. Reverse this warrior back now. Bring your hands right down to the mat. High plank to low, vinyasa to the back of the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach back. Now the right foot's gonna come forward into warrior two. Right foot steps, warrior two. Rise up. Excuse the back side of my body. It's one breath, reach your hands up. Turn back to the front of the room, warrior two. Reverse the warrior back. Bring everything down to the mat. High to low. Lift up and reach back slow. <sighs> Inhale, step the left foot forward, warrior one. Bring your hands to your heart. Sit back, Skandasana. Warrior two, float in. Reach up with the hands to touch. Turn the warrior to the back of the room. Warrior two. Reverse back. And now bring everything down to the mat. High plank to low. Rise upward. Reach back slow. Beautiful. Left foot in the warrior two. Bring your hands up to touch. Warrior two to the front of the room. Reverse this warrior back. Bring everything down to the mat. High plank to low. Rise upward. Reach back slow. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Look forward to the top of your mat. Jump or walk. Pull your body into that halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, stand tall. Hands to heart center. Empty it out nice and slow. Heart. Inhale, reach up nice and high. And then empty out and bow. Bow, bow, nice and low. Pull your body to a halfway lift. And then sit low to chair pose. I'm going to take my left foot and reach my left foot straight forward, squeezing my knees together. I'm going to feel my hips squeezing inward. Maybe sit down a little lower, a little lower. But now I'm going to rise up and take that left knee with me and place the left ankle across the right thigh. As I lean forward, my hips are pulling back. Oop, losing my balance. 
My hips are pulling back and my sternum is reaching forward. Sometimes it helps to reach the fingers forward as you pull the hips back. Maybe come down a little lower. Now I'm going to take this foot and cross it all the way across. So my pinky toes are touching and I'm going to bow down. I'm going to take hold of my blocks and I'm going to walk my block over my left and squeeze my hips, squeeze my inner thighs. I'm going to walk the block back forward. I'm going to release that left leg and reach it tall and bow standing split. Lower that foot down and then pull yourself right into halfway lift again. Sit lower, chair pose. Now this time I'm going to take my right foot and reach it forward. And I'm squeezing my knees together. I'm sitting down low, pulling my hips back, reaching my sternum up, and then I'm going to rise up and place my right ankle on my left thigh. As I sit back, I reach my fingers forward and I pull my hips back. Maybe come down a little lower. My spine, that tension line. Now cross that foot over pinky toe to pinky toe and fold. Take your block in your hands and walk your block over to the right and squeeze that left hip in. And then slowly walk that block forward. Release that right leg straight up, standing split. Lower that foot down. And then once again, come down and bring your knees out to the side. Bring your elbows in. Get down nice and low, get your hands on the floor, rise onto your toes once more, wrap those elbows in. So when I come on my toes, notice I'm bringing my shins up higher onto my biceps, onto my triceps. And then I'm gonna step in to crow, and I'm gonna try to pull my chest forward as I'm pulling my hip bones back. I'm trying to straighten my arms, Engaging my core, lifting the feet up maybe a little bit more, and then let your feet land and fold. Roll up to stand. Hands to heart. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, bow low. Inhale, sit to chair pose once more. And now bring your hands to heart center and you're going to twist over to the right. So you're going to twist your elbow, the left elbow, over to the right thigh. And I'm going to bring my fist and hands and move them away from my body. And I'm going to row them down towards my hips so that my right shoulder starts to lean back. I notice that my left knee is coming forward, so I'm going to shift my left knee back. But just as much as my body needs, not too much, I'm a little tight in my low back. Now keep yourself in that balance as you take that left foot and lift it up, working on that balance once more. Step that left foot back, coming into your twist. Lean back and feel the sternum reaching forward. Feel for the back heel reaching backward. And then slowly rise up, reach your arms up high. You stay where you are, I'm just switching back to the front of the mat again. I want to get, I'm going to wiggle and squeak, squeak, squeak my back foot back, and I'm going to drop my knee down and then rise it up. I want to feel my quadriceps. Drop it down, rise up. Again, drop it down. 
rise up, and now pause here, bring your hands to your heart center, look over the left, and sit back to Skandasana once more. Reach the arms forward, come down to the lower. My foot is going the same direction as my knee. And this leg is turned on. Now when I come up and go back into warrior two towards the front of the back, engage your inner thighs, and then come right up into warrior two. Great. And warrior two, let's get down there nice and deep. If you have a block, if not, put a hand on your back thigh. Put that right up against your thigh. Push your thigh into the block as you are stretching the inner thigh of the right forward. Keep stretching the inner thigh forward. Keep the foot present on the floor. Push down through the big toe now, but point the knee to pinky toe. Now, press away that, that thigh into the block. Now keep that action going. Very strong, shira, strength in the legs. From the hips up, it's soft, it's sukha. So you breathe in and breathe out, settle down. And breathe in through the front of the body, nice and slow. Breathe out through the back down, all the way down your back. Now let's reverse this warrior back. I'm going to take this hand, reach around, and maybe grab hold of my pants. I'm going to reach back as I slide in, not forgetting that back leg. Push it back. And then I'm going to come into side angle, resting my arm on my thigh or bring your hand inside your ankle, holding on or on a block. I like to have my knee pressing into my arm. Feel that resistance to help turn, turn, and roll you open. Take that left arm up. Take that left hand and bring it all the way underneath your rib cage. Take hold of that rib cage and breathe into your hand. Now use your hand to roll your body open. Again, breathe into that hand. And then turn and turn open and release that arm back high. Maybe you want to take that arm off your thigh and use more core strength. Now when I have my arms not touching down, you may find yourself kind of leaning back, falling backwards. So you really got to press down to the big toe mound. Rise up tall. Reverse this warrior back. And you're going to come into half moon now. So I'm going to reach down for my block. I'm going to put it in front of my right foot to the outside of my right foot. And slowly begin to rise up. Creating these 90 degree angles. Once you are there and you feel the engagement in the core integrating out through the limbs of your body, you could bring your hand maybe off the block and balance, or you could bring your hands to your heart, but know that the block is there. Lift the leg higher. Maybe today you gaze up. Shoulders slide down your back. Now let's bring that left hand to the floor. Standing split. Take that right hand. Your block is still there, right? Put the right hand back on that block. Take that left hand back. And now start to open your body into, into a bound half moon. Push away. Your inhale is pressing the foot away. The exhale is allowing you to relax into it. Now let's release out, nice and slow. Bring that left foot down to the floor and fold. Pull your body to a halfway lift. Sit low to chair pose. And then this time bring your hands and come into a twist over the left thigh. As I twist and bring my hands out, I'm gonna row them down towards my hip and lean my left shoulder back. Now I notice that my left hip is starting to go up, so I'm gonna scoop my left hip down, lift the right up a little bit. Just enough. If you feel any pain, back off. 
Now as I'm here, I'm going to find myself so steady, so, so steady on that left foot. And then I'm going to step the right foot back and come into my twist. Always feel free that you can come down and bring your hand to the floor. And then slowly rise up. I'm going to wiggle and squeak my foot back again. And I'm going to lower my knee down and rise up. I'm going to lower down and dip, rise up. Two more times, lower down, dip, rise up. One more time, my legs are shaking, rise up. Bring your hands to your heart, look over to the right shoulder and skandasana once more. Stay where you are. Reach the arms forward. Now you're going to look over towards the front foot. Look over to the front foot and open yourself into warrior two. Keep stretching the inner thigh forward as you push the back leg back. Lengthen the tailbone down. Relax the shoulders down. You're going to stay here for five breaths. Push that hand into your leg. Press the leg back as you reach the inner thigh of the left forward. Now feel that duality. Feel the tension lines. But now breathe up through the front of your body. Breathe out. A couple more times. Reverse the warrior back, and then slide into side angle. Bring that left arm down, reach the right arm high. Take this right hand, reach it down. Get your hand right onto that rib cage. Really get a hold of your side body. Breathe into your hand. And now take your hand and roll your rib cage open. Drop your head, relax your shoulders. Breathe into that hand again. And use that hand to rotate you open and then reach the arm back up high. Maybe you take both arms and slide in, slide in. Crown of the head forward, back heel pressing. Lean back some more, relax your head. You should be able to see your thumb. If your arm is way back, I see that a lot. Bring your arm so it's straight up so you can like literally see it out of the corner of your eye. And then rise up. Beautiful. Reverse the warrior back. Again, half moon pose. I'm going to bring my hand down to the floor on a block in front of the left foot to the outside of the left foot and rise. Once you find that integration in the core, you could bring your hands to heart center. Whoops. Come back over here. You could bring your hands to heart center or you could bring your arms out. A little balance problem on this side. There we go. <laughs> now bring both hands to the floor, standing split. You are still on your left leg and your right leg is high. Take your block into the left hand in front of the left foot, to the outside of the left foot. Take your right hand and reach back for the ankle. Roll your body open into this bound half moon. Release out. Release both feet down to the floor and fold. into a halfway lift and then sit to chair pose. Beautiful. In chair pose, rise up to stand tall. Bring your hands to heart center. 
Bring your arms along your side. Standing on your right leg, reach the left leg back and come into airplane. Turn your thumbs up, heart forward, leg up. Heart forward, leg up. Slowly step back into high lunge. Bring your hands to heart center and open up into warrior two. Reverse your warrior back and straighten the right leg. You're going to come into Tree Konasana. Bring your hand down onto your thigh. Take the left arm high. Maybe you even want to take that left hand and grab hold of your rib cage again. Breathe into it and roll open. Maybe again coming into some core strength. Keep shooting the right hip back and rolling your torso open. My right hip is pulling back and squeezing into the center of the mat. Slowly rise up. I'm going to bring my toes in, and then I'm going to bring my heels in, and I'm going to sit down into goddess pose. Bring the right arm underneath the left. Reach your elbows up, and exhale, squeeze elbows in. Inhale, reach your elbows upward, and then slowly squeeze elbows in. Again, rise up. Open, switch your arms, point your elbows upward, and then exhale, squeeze elbows into core. Try to get lower, toes are up, and squeeze. And this time when you rise up, I want you to just press yourself up, bring your toes in, bring your hands to hips, and slowly lower down. Take hold of your piece your big toes with your peace fingers. Pull yourself into a halfway lift. Breathe in and fill yourself with breath. Exhale and fold. Come into halfway lift. Look over to the right foot, walk your hands over to the right foot, and then come back into standing split some more. See if the leg comes up higher, see if your head goes down lower. And then slowly bring that leg back down, roll your body up to stand, and hands to heart. Reach your arms tall. Exhale and fold. Just come into a halfway lift. You can touch your shins and then bow. Again, rise up to stand. Hands to heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, this time bring your arms along your side and pull your heart forward. Pull your hips back. And then let's sit right into chair pose. Rise up and stand tall, hands to heart. Reach your arms along your side again and stand tall. As you reach the right knee up, you're going to stretch back into airplane pose. Keep the head up, keep the leg up, toes active, thumbs up, bringing the, your um, shoulders towards your spine. Leg higher, head higher. And then step back into your lunge. Take a long breath in, take a long breath out. Bring your hands to heart center and open right into warrior two. I'm gonna switch over so that I'm not facing away from you. Reverse your warrior back and straighten that left leg. And now come all the way forward, come into triangle. Take that top hand if you wish, grab hold of your ribs again, breathe into the hand, and then roll yourself open, feel your shoulders lean back, feel the left hip pull back and snug in, maybe the arms come up, maybe they come forward some days, 
Maybe they just stay here. Keep scooting your hip back, squeezing it in. And slowly rise up, point the toes in, point the heels in, and come down into squat. Into goddess pose, horse stance, lift the heels up. Tailbone down, sternum up, and smile. Great, drop the heels, bring the right elbow around the left. Inhale, and turn to the left. Exhale, and sweep around to the right. Breathe in, and go to the right, and sweep around to the left. Now pause here, switch arms. Again, go all the way towards the right, and switch up to the left. Reverse it, reverse it, down and through. Rise up back to goddess pose. Reach up tall, turn the toes in, heels out. Bring your hands behind you at this time. Bend your knees and let's lift up and lean back. Come up forward, heart first, and come down. Take your hands and find your big toes with your peace fingers. Pull yourself into a halfway lift and then bow. Look towards the front foot, which will be your left foot. And then step in to standing split once more. Leg higher, head lower, wrap the elbows in, bow a little lower towards the knee, leg up, and then release both feet down at the top of the mat. Inhale, come into chair pose. Exhale, stand tall, hands to heart. Take a resting breath in. You're almost there. Resting breath out. Reach up tall, exhale and bow. Just a couple of sunnies. Pull yourself to a halfway lift. Exhale, high plank to low. Inhale, rise up, empty out to dog. Inhale, look forward. When your belly's empty, pull in and jump forward lightly. Pull yourself to a halfway lift and fold. Inhale, rise, hands to heart. Again, again, reach up. Empty. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, lift. Exhale to dog. Breathe in long. Let's stay here. Open your mouth and let it go. <sighs> Take your right leg up. Pull the right knee in. And now bring the right knee over the left and shoot it through to rock star pose. Do not sink into that right hip. Lift the hip up. Take the left hand, reach it over. So I'm really pushing down with my left foot as I'm reaching with my left arm. I'm gonna bring my hand to the floor, reach the leg back, bend the knee, and flip that dog up and over. Reach up tall, come back, right leg high. Step that right foot forward and come into kneeling lunge. Take your mat and roll it over on the left. Climb up your leg and place your right arm onto your right thigh. Take your left hand and reach it back to find your ankle, not the foot, the ankle. Come forward so that you're not on the kneecap, you're on the meaty portion. So I'm sliding forward, so I'm getting more onto the meaty portion of my thigh above the kneecap. Now, I already feel this, but what if I look over my right shoulder? It scoots this left hip forward just enough that I feel more. Maybe I reach back with both hands. Inhale, push away. And exhale, settle in. Inhale, push away. Exhale, settle in. Now let's come down to the floor. Unroll that mat in its lizard pose. Point the toes out to the side and the knees go in the same direction as the toes. I'm literally balancing on the pinky toe side of my foot. A block is always an option here to come down onto. 
If you want a little more, go ahead and turn those left toes under and press back with the left heel. Maybe you slide back and forth like we did at the beginning of class. Okay, now I'm going to come down and get that left hand underneath my shoulder somewhat. My right hand is going to reach back for my ankle again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean forward. I'm going to come in, lean forward, and pull my heel to my glute. Not too much, maybe just enough, but so that I can kind of just hang out here for a moment. that foot down, my hands on the floor, I'm going to straighten this left leg, shift my hips back, so I want you to feel again this tension line of sternum forward, hips back, hip creases pulling back. straight up to the sky. Bend my knee again once more and just maybe look, just look underneath your left arm and side. Now reach that leg back, lower it to the mat. Switch sides, take the left leg. Pull the left knee and cross it over to the right and thread it through to rock star. Don't drop down, lift up and take that top arm and reach it back. And I'm really gluing that back foot down and this shoulder is sliding down. So it's okay to see the back side of my body here because I want you to see how I'm integrating and protecting. Slide that left hip down, slide the left shoulder down. Now reach the right arm over. Come all the way down and reach that leg up. Bend the knee and go ahead and lift the dog up and over. Now this shoulder is a little bit funky. So I have to be very, very careful with it. When I come all the way back around, my left leg will go high. So we're stepping into kneeling lunge once more. And I drop down, I'm gonna roll my right side of the mat over. Yeah. Bring the left arm and put it on the left thigh. Take the right hand and reach back. I'm going to slide forward, and I want to stay tall. I want to keep lengthening up through the crown of my head. Inhale, pushing the shin back, squeezing my core, squeezing inner thighs to keep myself steady. And then if I want, I can reach back with both. But if I look over my left shoulder, just a tad, it'll bring the right hip forward just enough that you will feel a little bit more. Don't slingshot out, come down slow. Roll the mat over, walk the foot out. There you go. So lizard pose, nice and simple. My toes are going the same direction as my knee. If I want more, I'm gonna press back through my right heel. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to reach my left hand back around to find my ankle. But I want to come down and pull my heel towards my glute. So I'm going to come down onto my elbow or onto a block. Now I'm going to stay here for a moment. Notice my toes are very active and my knee is pointing outward and leaning forward.
This one's different than this one. This one I'm trying to just to get deeper into my quadriceps. I want to find some length. I want to lengthen them, open them. I want to take care of my legs. They're, they do a lot of support in my life. There you go. And then release that leg down. Wiggle that left foot forward and come into half splits. Ah, Hanumanasana. Half lower the monkey split. Pull your chest forward as you pull your hip bones back. I'm going to step back into a three-leg dog and roll my hip open. I'm going to lower that leg down to the floor. And we've done this once before. So give it a little try. Take that right foot and point it out to the right. Step it forward one foot. Take the left leg up. Take the right hand to the left ankle. And then start to press away. Inhale, push the shin away. Exhale, see if you can relax into it. Press back into dog some more. And then switch. Take the left foot slightly forward. Take the right leg back. Grab hold. And then slowly release. Downward facing dog. Take the right leg high. Step the right foot forward for pigeon pose. I'm going to bring my right foot uh, as diagonally as my body can, but when I do that, see how my hips are off level? So I'm going to put a block underneath my right hip. I like to have my other block as I come down and place my forehead. My toes are active, and again, like in lizard, if you want more, come on to the left toes, press back through the left inside of the left heel. When you feel that you can relax, and you can stay still. Just pause here. And just feel for your belly rising and lowering. Let your eyes close. more breaths. Be patient. It's very important that the, when you're still, stillness is where you learn the most about yourself. Bring your hands down. I'm going to release that block. I'm going to release that leg straight up. And I'm just going to roll my hip around in each direction. Release. And it's just so simple. Let's just switch sides. Take that left leg high. Take the left knee in. Step the left foot over towards your hand. And I'm going to place a block underneath my left hip. My toes are active. I, I, for my whole practice, I've always put something under my hip. Um, there's other days that I will choose to make my, my pigeon a little softer. If I don't have a block, I will bring my heel in. And I will just let it be almost like a fallen angel. <laughs> but you can choose. Choose what feels best in your body. But your, your mind is, it is going to wander. Just notice what comes up for you. That's what your mind does, right? It thinks, wanders. You just have to become the watcher 
they come and see our Reach down, move your block out. And take that left leg up. Let's roll it around. And then lower your foot down, feet down. Come to your knees. And we're going to do frog pose today. I know it's my favorite. I know it is. But there's so many benefits in that. So I'm gonna roll over my mat a little bit on each side. I wanna protect my knees. I'm gonna take one of my handy dandy blocks. I have my ankles in line with my knees. And while I'm here, before I get going, my elbows are on the floor, I'm gonna round my back in a Halloween cat. And then I'm gonna pull my chest forward into frog, into cow. I'm gonna round my back into a Halloween cat. And then I'm gonna feel that cow feeling of lifting my hips up, dropping my belly, reaching my sternum forward. Let's do that one more time, cat and cow. Round. And reach forward. And then let's just relax. Listen for all the sounds. I can hear wind chimes outside, the wind blowing. Do that a little deeper. seconds. Deep, deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then slowly bring your heels in, bring your knees in. And then just come into child's pose. Just come down into child's pose. And come down onto your back. Bring your fingers towards your heels. And why do I do that? I just want to make sure that my feet aren't too wide. And my feet, no matter what, they, they stick out. They, I try to anatomically press them in, but my every body is different, right? Duck feet. So I'm going to lift up. So I'm going to keep trying to bring my big toes to point inward just because of the way that my um, it's just the way my tibias are curved and my feet go in. We're all different. We're all anatomically different. That's why it's like each yoga practice a little different for each one of us. Press down with the heels. My toes are up. Lift your hip bones up. Keep your chin off of your neck so that you can breathe a little more. And if you need to, place a block right underneath your sacrum. And this actually not only reminds me to go up a little higher, but I'm not hanging out on it. Now I'm going to hang out on it. <laughs> I'm going to reach down and remove the block, and then slowly lower down. Take a resting breath in. I want to do that two more times. This time when I go up, maybe you want to try different ways of doing it. Put a block between your thighs and rise up. 
So my thighs are squeezing the block, rolling my inner thighs down, it gives a little bit of space in the sacrum. I'm gonna keep pressing my knees forward so my hip bones go up. It's a very pretty day. I wish you could see what I'm looking at out the window. There's all the big clouds going by. And then slowly lower down. Here we go again, rise up one more time. And then lower down. Whew, I removed my block. I'm gonna take my left ankle on my right thigh and I'm gonna let my legs fall over towards the left side and open my arms and gaze to the right. So I'm going to switch. I'm going to walk my left foot over to the right, my, my left foot over to the left, excuse me, and let my legs fall to the right. Actually, my knees just fell on my block. It reminds me, you can always put a block right underneath your knee because sometimes it just feels like that's just enough, unless you want your knee to go down a little lower. I feel a little bit more. I feel a little more pull through your psoas area. Like, touch on, touch on it. You can feel it. Come back center. Bring your knees in. And then slowly bring your legs down onto the floor. Let your arms relax. Close your eyes. Take a moment to feel how you now feel, how you feel emotionally, how you feel physically. Do you feel more of a connection in your body and your breath? Do you feel more at ease? And take notice of what thoughts come up. You can stay there a little longer, which I really would like you to do. But I'm gonna come up to sit. I'm gonna bring my hands on my knees. Close your eyes. your shoulders back, your sternum up high. And check in, like really, how are you doing? We ask this, we ask people this all the time, but with what we're all going through right now in this world, you know, really, really, how are you doing? Are you keeping busy? Are you staying positive? Are you taking time to be silent so that you can observe your thoughts? Look, bring your hands to your heart.